Hi everybody, this is Emily and you're watching my brand new DIY channel. Welcome to my channel. Yes, I try to do stuff that's fun and also functional. You know, something that's cute too. Hopefully you guys really love it. If you do, please give me a like down below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel. I would love it if people would subscribe. This channel is very, very new. Also, if you really love it and you think that other people are gonna really love the content of this DIY channel, please consider sharing this. I would really, really, really appreciate this. I'm making a really interesting, fun DIY for you guys. So I thought it'd be really, really cool to make a really interesting DIY that I've been looking for everywhere on the internet. I've been actually searching for this God, it's been, it's probably been years and nobody seems to be making anything along this line. So I'm hoping that I'm not the only person who's been looking for something like this and maybe I can help you out. So basically what I want to do is make a comic book spinner rack. That's right. You know, those retro cool comic book spinner racks that they had in the seventies, eighties, that sort of thing. You would go into a comic book store and you would see um, trade paperbacks or bagged and board comics and they would be in these cool rotating spinner racks. They're all like a wire mesh kind of situation. I've been looking for something like that for a long time. The only problem is they're extremely, extremely expensive. Even for like a small one that could potentially sit on your table, it's really expensive. It's at least well over a hundred dollars, if not more. So if you're lucky enough to come across something that's cheaper than that, then you are so beyond fortunate because it's been really difficult for me to find something along those lines. So I figured maybe there's a way to DIY it for cheaper. So I ended up spending about $65 Canadian on amazon.ca and I collected a few things, free shipping, you know, because my husband has Prime, so that's pretty cool. I basically wanted to make some comic book spinner racks with this wire letter sorter. And that's basically what I found. So I found a lot of cool magazine racks that you hang on the wall, which you could potentially do something like that with this, but I wanted something that was a little lower so that it'd be easier to spin on. If you look for stuff like this, you could probably even find something cheaper at a dollar store. I really like the design of this one because it looks more like these mesh cubes that are right behind me. And I see stuff like this at conventions all the time. People make archways sometimes and then they put their products in it. And it's a really, really cool way of displaying awesome product at conventions. So I got that idea from there. I also got kind of like, it looks like it's for comic books, but it's not. This is actually a card spinner rack that I got and it has like a really simple bottom but as you can see, it sort of spins around. I got this at my art store that I worked at because they were selling cards, but they weren't using this display anymore. This was just in storage. And I stated that I was really interested in taking it if they didn't want it, if they were just gonna toss it away. Yeah, I just said, hey, can I have this? And yeah, lo and behold, a few weeks later, they were like, yeah, we're just gonna toss this thing. Do you want it? So I was lucky enough to get that for free. So I got that. If you ever wanted to take this to conventions and put it on a table and have people interact with your comics, I think it'd be a really, really cool conversation piece and really, really fun to draw people into your comics table. This kind of cool sort of mesh design is gonna really lend itself to making something like this be disassembled or reassembled again easily in case you want to take this to actual conventions. Say you have a comic book that you want to promote. Say you have prints that you want to promote if you're like an artist or you want to display cards, postcards that you make. This is just really cool home decor too. You don't have to take this to conventions if you don't want to. You can make this a lot more permanent if you want to as well. I'm going to mainly make this so that you can easily take this apart and take this to conventions in the future. It's cool to have these sort of square things because it's gonna make it a lot easier to assemble and disassemble. Basically, we're gonna use zip ties to put this thing together. I, unfortunately, I'm so sad because don't hate me guys. I really love the color of this. It's kind of like a beautiful rose gold. I'm unfortunately going to spray paint this like a silver, mainly to match the rest of this spinner rack. So I basically got a bunch of wire stuff so it can easily go together. I got two, of these 
cooling racks for cakes. This one is about nine and a quarter inches round. It has these little legs on here, just so you guys can see that. <laughs> I basically got two, one because I wanted to just sort of use this as an actual cake cooling rack. I don't really have any cooling racks, but then I thought maybe I can just later on get like a, a rectangular one because you can put cupcakes on there. This was about six bucks, I think, on Amazon each. And they were kind of one of those like add-on things so that you can get free shipping. This is again, Canadian Amazon. So everything's going to be a little bit pricier than American Amazon. But I like the round bottom of this one. And I'm gonna basically put this together, kind of like this, so it can spin around easily. And then in the center, I'm going to put one of these guys, which is a uh, Lazy Susan, spinner <laughs> i'm gonna link to everything that i'm using down below so you can make some, something similar to this or something exactly like this if you really wanted to you can probably easily find something like this in some sort of hardware store and i'm sure you could find stuff like this easily at at dollar stores right you just got to look for a letter or magazine holder this one's quite large i think it's a little over nine inches i think it's closer to 10 inches, if anything, across. And this is about nine, a little over nine inches. So this might hang over slightly on these things. So it might, yeah, it's gonna hang over the edge slightly, but hopefully we can balance it okay. And hopefully that won't really do anything to this. Hopefully it'll, it'll spin around with ease. Once I actually connect this, I think it's going to work pretty well. And then I can put two of these back to back on each other and it'll hopefully look really cool. It's gonna be quite light, and so it'll be easy to take with you to a comic convention. It'll be easy for you to take it apart, put it together there, and hopefully look really, really cool on the table. This is a really, really fun project. It's not just for comic lovers, it's for anyone who likes organizing stuff. You can organize your magazines, you can organize your letters. I think this is a really cool one for if you're a sewer and you have really beautiful retro pattern, McCall's or Vogue patterns with beautiful retro art on it. I feel like that would be really, really beautiful to display in something like this, if you have like a sewing room. There's so many different ideas. And if you have any other really cool ideas on how to use something like this, please comment down below and let us all know in the community what you would actually put in yours. Also, it'd be great if you just show me yours if you decide to do this DIY. I would love to see anything that you're making because it's just really cool. It's cool to see people doing fun DIY stuff. I just wanted to show you guys a really, really cool, fun, hopefully easy way of making this sort of thing. I'm gonna show you the spray painting process. I'm probably gonna spray a little bit of these as well, just to sort of match up a little bit. I'm gonna just spray these down sort of like a silver color, and then hopefully I'll show you how to assemble it and show you how it's done. It's gonna look really unique. People are gonna be like, whoa, how did you get something like that for your table? And you can just say, I made it myself. The power of DIY. Kind of cool, right? So anyways, guys, I guess the next time you'll see me, I'll be DIYing this sort of stuff and putting it together. And hopefully you enjoy the rest of this video.
successfully made a spinner rack for a potential convention table or even just to organize anything that you have. A lot of flat stuff like books, magazines, obviously comic books. I, as I said, mentioned like it's a great letter sorter. It's a great thing to sort your cards. If you have a sewing space, it's a really cool way to display your patterns. And yeah, it doesn't seem to wobble, which is really fantastic. It seems to spin quite smoothly, which is great too. So I absolutely love how this turned out. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. By the way, this is my friend Dan's book, Quest. In case you guys are interested, he did a really amazing job on the art and the story. The story is really, really fun. He's got a lot more books than this. And I actually ordered a few more, so hopefully they're coming soon enough. But I also have, these are my books that I used to make back in my 20s a long time ago and they're like manga sizes so it just shows the different sizes you can do. It holds a lot of comics, a lot of magazines, really thick stuff too. I tested it out as you can see in the video and yeah it's really really cool. So yeah there's a, a few problems that I had when making this and it was mainly because I spray painted this. I mean it's not ideal I guess if I could get like a silver or something like this that would have been a little more ideal but because I spray painted this, it's a little gritty. So I had to go over it. I didn't really film it, but I had to go over it with a gloss spray. And I recommend gloss mainly because if you're doing metallic at least, it's going to make the metallic shiny, obviously, right? Unless you want like more of a dull, maybe you can do a satin finish, but I feel like gloss is kind of the way to go. And I also, I'm gonna stress this because especially if you're going to display comics on this, even being bagged and boarded, bagged and boarded, I guess, uh, anyways, I strongly recommend using a spray that isn't sticky afterwards and obviously make sure it's not sticky before you put something like this on it. The spray just sort of sealed the paint in and it got rid of this grittiness that I found the spray paint sort of gave off. The spray paint was kind of leaving some metallic sparkles on my fingers and that's not something you want especially when you're displaying something that it should be in good condition right so i have a few caveats with making this sort of thing another thing was because i didn't weld the bottom part before i spray painted everything I wasn't able to weld it if I wanted to. So in case you guys want to make this a lot more permanent, I do highly suggest welding this ahead of time. It's a little easier, I find, if you weld it, if you want to go that route. If you want to glue it down, that's one thing too. So basically, I feel like you could glue this down if you wanted to make it a little more permanent. But if you really want to make it super permanent, I would recommend actually welding this bottom together if you are feeling confident about welding. And I would suggest if you're not, but you still kind of want to attempt it, to watch some welding videos on YouTube or something. Just, just to make sure that you're, you're confident about this. Even test it out on something else before you try doing something like this. Because it's a lot of fine, delicate details, right? And you don't want to like melt something that you don't want to melt. Basically weld it before you spray paint it because I find that if you weld something like this, you're gonna create toxic fumes. It's not gonna be good. So I highly, highly, highly recommend actually spray painting this maybe afterwards, maybe kind of like a few different times. It took me about all weekend to spray paint and make sure that everything was dry. And I, again, I spray painted and then I did the spray gloss and I did quite a few coats on this. Some of it's still showing through slightly, but it's not too bad, I found. So if you want to be thorough, I would do quite a few coats, maybe three or four, just see how it looks. And I would say if you're going to convention and you want to make something along these lines, make this way in advance. I know conventions can get a little hectic. I've done it before. You're trying to like get everything together as much as you possibly can. Do this way in advance before a convention is even happening, I feel. And then you can still use it to organize some stuff if you wanted to, and then take that stuff off, bring it to your convention. But I mean, I would say do it, if you're going to like do it with all your other things that you're organizing, do it at least maybe, at least at the latest a week in advance. Maybe a month, I would say a month, 
because, and I know that sounds crazy, but like, honestly, I feel like it's going to be so much better if you get that out of the way and you don't think about that anymore. And again, you don't have to spray paint this if you don't want to. I personally like the look of the silver because it, it does sort of look like classic retro spinners, but it's like almost like a modernized version because it's shorter and it's not taking up so much room. And again, you can't put like a ton of comics on this, but maybe whatever you want to display would be really, really cool. So again, this is for people who mainly are doing their own comics, like say an indie comic artist, and just want to show off your awesome work that you've done. Again, it doesn't have to be for comics. This could be for cards. I showed you earlier that I put my own cards and stuff in there to so display it. And again, you can organize anything with this, which is really freaking cool. I really, really hope that you guys actually like this DIY and maybe even try it. If anything, I really love seeing people's art and work and DIYs that they're doing. If they're doing something similar to what I just did, show me your stuff. Show me what you improved upon it, what you did that was similar, whatever. I don't care. I want to see it. If you can send it to me, I think I put my email down below in case you guys want to write me something and send me some pictures so yeah definitely do that and as always if you really like this video please like and subscribe and i hope you all have a fantastic day take care guys bye